If someone said to you to describe what biology of belief is about, in 10 words or less, <laughs> here's a challenge. Seriously though, how would you describe this, simplistically put, for people that aren't aware of your work? Yes. Uh, simplistically put, it's a change from our belief system of uh, being victims to the world and forces outside of ourselves mm -hmm. uh, and uh, to be the victims of our genes and our heredity to recognizing what we think and what we feel about our, our lives control our health. And why this becomes important is that when we're in a pathological situation, it's, we always tend to blame the body. You know, something's wrong with the body and it turns out, no, the body is just a reflection of what's going on in your mind. And as uh, we change our beliefs and our attitudes about life, we change our biology. And this allows people to heal themselves. Mm -hmm. So, for example, we talk about the placebo effect, where good thoughts can actually heal yourself in the presence of a sugar pill. Uh, but it also uh, brings in something that most people aren't familiar with called the nocebo effect. It's just the opposite. It says a negative thought can actually cause illness and even kill you uh, just because of the belief. So while beliefs can heal you, Negative beliefs can kill you, so positive and negative beliefs are equally powerful, but in opposite directions. Because we can actually scare ourselves to death, can't we? That's an absolute physiological reality that yep. we do this. And an uh, interesting fact about new science is that 90% uh, of cardiovascular disease changeable by changing lifestyle. Mm -hmm. The American Cancer Society just last year recognized that over 60% of cancer is totally avoidable by changing lifestyle. The most recent evidence on diabetes reveals that it's a lifestyle disease. By changing lifestyle, you can actually wean yourself off the insulin and become healthy again. So for years, we've attributed our illnesses to a, a frailty of the machinery. The new biology takes us out of that and says, no, we are very much responsible for this. And without being programmed and taught that, that responsibility, uh, we blindly walk through the world uh, feeling ourselves victims. But it turns out if we're victims, it's only of our own belief system.